McDonald's, one of the largest restaurant chains in the world and, of course, in the mother Russia. A major provider of food and jobs for students and just a nice, clean place with almost no gopniks. Yeah, this restaurant does not like gopniks, so it recently said Davai, back off and left Russia. But in doing so, it sold the restaurants themselves and allowed to make burgers under a new local brand, coquettishly reserving the right to buy everything back within 15 years. Well, if… you know, a lot can change in 15 years. Today we're going to find out how the new chain is doing in Russia, whether it's been able to maintain quality, try all the items and find out what McDonald's actually means here and why its departure remains one of the main topics in Russia all this time. So, after some events, which is absolutely official forbidden to name, a whole bunch of brands left Russia. Each of these brands is good, but McDonald's has a special meaning here. After all, its opening marked the final, as everyone thought at the time, collapse of the SSSR. Yes, before that there appeared stolen consoles in the SSSR and music like Queen and even jeans and Pepsi. But McDonald's… Real Americans are here, speaking English. Well, come on, they're talking. Turns out they don't walk on their hands, they don't eat asphalt, they don't breathe water. In short, the Soviet television had a bit of a lie to its people. Потрясает здесь вот эта вся чистота, красота. И чувствуется, как будто ты вот где-то в другом городе. Люди хорошие, продавцы не ругаются, не кричат. Спасибо, пожалуйста, и добрые все, улыбающиеся. Приятно просто ходить, даже не для того, чтобы купить, а ну просто смотреть приятно. Я здесь очень долго стояла, и э, взрослые просто хамски относятся к детям. Они считают, что они не стояли в очереди, только взрослые стояли. Хотя очень многие взрослые были доброжелательны, к нам хорошо относились. Но вот когда я сюда пришла, у меня просто глаза на лоб полезли. Здесь такая красота. And now what? You can travel to other countries? Uh, wait, there are other countries? That wasn't fiction? This event turned out to be extremely important. For a long time McDonald's was only in Moscow and St. Petersburg. And everyone else wanted to try this food too. And Russia is a very long country. So the coolest thing parents could do was to bring a happy meal from Moscow if they happened to be there. By plane. Or even harder, by train. 5 or even 10,000 kilometers. A whole week of transporting fries, hamburger, a glass of coke without spilling it, and a toy. Yes, the fries would turn into mashed potatoes and soak the whole back in fat. But it was one of the happiest events and an act that not everyone could do. So now that McDonald's has gone back, it has become a sign that the SSSR is trying to crawl out of its coffin and swallow everything in its path. Of course, the party has turned on the old forgotten mod called We're not any worse, we're even better, we don't need these capitalist diners at all, everything there is unhealthy, we don't like that food. Actually, we do. But we don't care! Go away! Don't go! Come back here! Where's my big taster? We'll prove to everyone that we're a great country and we can do it ourselves! If we try hard enough, make sandwiches. Execute! And immediately McDonald's was replaced. Real. Russian. Authentic. A pirate copy of McDonald's. Yes. Titled Вкусная точка. It's delicious! Period! It's good! I said that's it! This conversation is over! I was lucky enough to be born in the same city as the man who bought up all the McDonald's restaurants in the country, which is very surprising, because it's a shithole, a ghetto that lives by coal mining, you know, like Detroit. And it turns out that they are officially sister cities! <laughs> It could be worse though, at least we're not Detroit! It's not just surprising that there is a McDonald's. It's not just that there is no Starbucks. There are not roads everywhere in this place. The model salary here is around 300 bucks. In front of me, in the supermarket, a man tried to take out a huge stick of sausage in his pants pretending it was… Uh, uh, never mind, no one believes him. 
What's even more surprising is that the millionaire who bought out the restaurant seems quite normal. He's not yelling, let's sell halogens instead of burgers. He's sane. Так удивительно, вы отдаете должное американскому бизнесу, американской системе. Вы знаете, как глупо не отдавать всему хорошему. Но если это есть, а почему здесь надо стесняться, если это хорошо? Этим надо просто гордиться. But not surprisingly, in my shit hole, this new it and get out was the last one to open. So we had to wait. Yes, I went there several times and waited for it to open. By the way, many people think the new restaurant logo looks like this, but it actually looks like this. Just a black square with absolutely nothing suspicious on it. These are completely new restaurants. The competitors across the street are not waiting at all, like vultures, when they get to buy up buildings on the chip. <coughs> Attention! There will be food in the video, so be sure to pour your favorite drink, be sure to hit the like button to grow the channel, be sure to write it and get out of here! And let's go try Russian burgers just like McDonald's, only not McDonald's. Okay, my boys, here we are at our greatest restaurant. Here I've got a bunch of stuff. One bag, two bag. You already can see the great design of new bags. It's just like fat. To feel the difference, I saved the old bag. As you can see, the design has been simplified quite a bit. In general, in general, all the items on the menu are in place, but no more Big Mac, no more Big Tasty, no more Happy Meal, no more shrimps, no more specials, and no more drinks. The month was enough to lose half of the menu. You can say, Mark, drink your favorite kvass, but it's a McDonald's or Tasty and go f*** yourself. And you just can't eat the sandwiches with kvass. Kvass is for pilmeni. We still have an ancient supply of the Diet Coke. Diet, so you don't get fat. Here we go. Today we're going to the Mark Donald's. My English is not that good. I don't have translator around me now. So you will hear kind of bullshit of the man who got stuck in the airport. Duty free? Duty free? Duty free? Cigarettes? Cigarettes, блять. Here we go. Mm, the ancient rare beverage. Mm. My hair is swelling in the head. So, the screen will display the price of foods that have been in a local mark before. The price will be in dollars, because the exchange rate of the ruble is jumping like crazy. I can't keep up with it. Write how the McDonald's says. Name is simplified in your country. In the motherland it's uh, Mac and Mac Duck. Anyway, I have bought all the available items, excluding the doubles, like chicken burger, Big chicken burger. So, we have the fries. You can see the new design. Oh, look at me. I have the red line. You can't say we didn't do something. Actually, there's an old picture at the bottom with the guy who throws this fries in the trash. Kartoffel free. Большая порция. Fried potatoes. The big portion. The party said we can repeat after McDonald's their fries, not the design. In the Soviet Union, design is just like, why should we waste money for it? Just eat and go, go outside, go away. We have other customers to shout and never come back here. Давай, блядь, пошел, мальчик, with your potatoes. It's a full name of new restaurants. Filet of fish or 
the fish burger. We have the word for fish, riba, but it is fish burger with some white crab fish. Crab, not like crabby, crabby, like crab. Next one. What the hell is that? Scissors roll. I did not eat it before. Why would you buy it at McDonald's? We have restaurants with only the rolls here. We call them shaverma. Do you like the new design? It's green here and white here. Like in local hospitals, cheap free hospitals of the Soviet Union. You don't have the ingredients list, they got tired. Just eat your food! Cherry pie. Pirajok. Каждый из нас беспонтовый пирожок. Russian classic culture. Caution. Hot. We have the barbecue sauce. You can say it looks like the old one. They just took the permanent marker and painted over the McDonald's logo here. Ladies and gentlemen, our new Russian authentic sauces. Nuggets, four pieces. Yeah, we call them nuggets. The letter is for the plural. So you call them like one nugget, two nuggets, three nuggets. We call them one nuggets, two nuggetses. Three nuggetses, etc. So four nuggetses. Next one. Chicken burger. I can't remember how it looked like before. Cheeseburger with like orange line. Because there is a cheese in it. And this shit is green because there's salad in there. I don't know. Hamburger. It's brown because of the ham. Maybe. Maybe not. Grand Deluxe. White and green. Again, I think they bought those boxes from someone. Like generic boxes. It used to be called Royal Deluxe. The American version is quarter pounder with cheese deluxe. Chicken Premier. It's like white, but some fancy letters here. And two holes. I don't know why. Write in the comments why do we have here two holes. Uh, excuse me, one hole. And the last one, Grand. You can say we already have Grand Deluxe, but there was no more sandwiches. Now you can see all, all the items of the Russian McDonald's menu. That's it. Now we can get started. The first fries. It's cold. It's wet. It's not crunchy anymore. Like before. Because I've cycled to get them. It was like an hour ago. Anyway, it's like an old potato. I can't see any difference. It's good old fries. Let's refill it. Okay, take it. Scissor roll. Open here it says. It's like very small shaverma. There is some chicken. Is it a chicken? It's not tasty at all. It's a piece of crap. <coughs> the worst shaverma in my life. It's dry. I don't know. Maybe it was all the time the piece of shit. Come on. The price of this piece of shit is uh, like, what? 200 rubles. For the 200 rubles, you can buy shaverma, or shawarma, burrito, kebab, or the gyro, and it will be better. I'm sure you have the restaurants with much better rolls. Actually, after two or three bites, it gets better. But anyway, all the body of this piece of crap has its price. I paid for the whole piece, the one green piece of crap or four hamburgers. Nuh -uh. But it's not because of its Russian new authentic go and go. It's a chicken inside the dough, inside the dough. There's only a piece of stripe and mayo. You can do it at home. The next item is nuggets. Let's try them. The same. I guess we have to wait a couple of months. You've seen the sauce. It's just the old uh, supply. Hamburger. It's a bun. It's a... Where is my patty? Here it is. It's a ketchup. It's a small pickle. Let's try it. Gold old hamburger. Actually, I wanted to record a video where I will judge the new restaurants, but no, it's okay. Cheeseburger. Just hamburger with a cheese. What do you want? I have the feeling 
the bumps got worse. You have to penetrate them with your teeth. Mm, like, I don't know. Was it like this? Anyway, whatever. Chicken burger. Salad here and one flat nugget. Flat nugget, ladies and gentlemen. All the buns are hard to bite. Uh -uh. Fish burger with some crab on the box. Yeah, now we're tasting the box sandwiches. It was in a box, so it has its shape still. The fishy flat nugget and a half of piece of cheese. Where's my second half? Where is it? I googled it and as it turns out, the original sandwich only has half of cheese sliced too. Come on! Not a fan. It feels like sandwich with nothing. Mm -mm. Sort of fish. I don't know. Ah, rums. Whatever. I just want my sandwich with tuna, with salmon. It's just a cheap fish inside the cheap bread with cheap mayo inside the cheap buns for much maya you up for the four bucks this shit costs four bucks the plain hamburger costs one buck four bucks really is plain white fish more expensive than cow it even can't walk it can't eat grass uh, i'm fish whatever four times more expensive come on it's a fish uh, which is used in the crab sticks. Real crab re replacement. Okay, next one. The biggest boy here. Grand Deluxe. Look at this. It has a sauce. It has a salad. It has pickles. Oh, old good, old style sandwich. Something is falling. I like it. We have three items left. And my stomach is full already. <sighs> Old good sandwich. Not this capitalistic crap like fish or whatever. And now we have to try the grand. The bun, the patty, onion, luscious daruri. Mm -hmm. Old good meat. Cheaper than filet of fish. Fish go away. Mm -hmm. This particular one is like dry. I don't know why, it's impossible to eat. But we have the solution! Let's try it again. Now it is a burger. Chicken premiere. Oh, it's a chicken burger with a flat nugget and with a bacon. It's better. But it is three times more expensive, so... All the sandwiches here in their Russian versions are f***ing dry. Like they are running out of sauces and are trying to save it. It won't work! All good stuff will end. I added the sauce in the previous one it, and, and it was not like modified. It was just like a, a normal sandwich. And one day they will run out of supply. Three grams of sauce in here. Let's put two grams of sauce in here. Let's put one gram of sauce in here. Oh, it's expired a year ago. Never mind. Let's put a half of the gram in here. Come on, look, I drank all my Coca-Cola. The last one. Oh, it looks so nice. The fried pirajok. Product may contain bones. <laughs> <laughs> How you call the bones inside your fruits? Seed. <gasps> no, it's a single big one. Um, fat cherry pie. Pie with cherry fat. Why are you hiding? Still crunchy. Really crunchy. The winner. Grand Deluxe is the best, but not a fish burger. Second place. Cherry pie. That's it. It's time for the conclusion. Of the four terminals in the restaurant, only two remain functional. Restaurant redesigns? Well, you've seen it. Taste. Remains the same completely, because these are the old ingredients. Like, literally old. Coke sauces, hence the patties and everything else. Also, half of the menu items were removed from the menu. This means they have the ability to cannibalize all sandwiches. Instead of one Big Mac, you can make two cheeseburgers. After a while, the old supply will run out. And then the food will obviously change. Oh, what is that? Breaking news! While I was editing this video, news came in that confirmed my theory. The Russian substitute for McDonald's now has Asian and French luxury cuisine. Burgers with mold and insects. 
The sources are now expired, and the stale buns at the unloading station are being eaten by the birds. And they shit in it! So some innovations have appeared after all. That explains a lot. Hard buns with malt and crow shit. I'm not loving it. Oh my god. I feel like Bear Grylls. What's going to happen in one more year? We'll have to find out. They still have the breakfast menu left. If you are interested, hit the like button. Support my distressed stomach. And that's all for today. My name is Mark. Subscribe, comment, like, and see you next time, blood!